Subroutines and modules, development and use of a library of modules. Now, subroutines are self-contained blocks of code that perform specific tasks. Subroutines can also be known as functions or procedures with their lines of codes being potentially being called upon and reused multiple times throughout a program. Modules are files or logical units that contain related subroutines, variables, and other programming elements. Modules can be used to create libraries of reusable code that can be shared across multiple programs or projects. So what we're saying here is both subroutines and the content within modules can be reused. And that's what the common thing is between these two elements. We are reusing code that we've created, though in a more simpler and efficient manner when calling upon it once again. So essentially, subroutines are the building blocks of modules, which in turn, modules being the building blocks of computer programs. So let's take a look at them individually first, and we'll start off with subroutines. So here I'm going to make a program, and I'm writing out my lines of code here. It's called positive negative. It's going to get user input, and if user input is greater than zero, we know the number is positive. If it's not greater than zero, we know that the number is negative. I know there's some errors in logic here. What happens if it is zero or something like that? We're not going to go into that detail right now. We're just trying to create a simple program here that we are creating. So I've created this program in my code by naming it positive negative. That means if I use this same code again, I don't need to write it all out again. What I can do is just reference the name positive negative as the name of the subroutine. And if I just write positive negative eight next to it, it will still run that program as I, I did with all the code after it and it will give me the answer, which in turn should say positive. I could then use it again later in my program once again and write positive negative and write minus one and hopefully negative appears on screen. So I don't have to rewrite the whole entire code over and over. I can just reference the name of the subroutine multiple times and it will always apply that same function over and over and over again because I've already defined it once. Now, that's it on the subroutine side, okay? So we've got an understanding of, we just use the name and it references all the code we wrote earlier. Now let's go over to the module side. Now modules can be separate files that we link to our actual program and obviously be referencing. So it'll have some sort of file name and this one would be called file my functions. And in here I could have a variety of different functions or subroutines all stored obviously in not any kind of logical order to be its own program it's just actually having the accessible subroutines themselves stored within the module so i could have the function of positive negative stored here with all its code written obviously i'm not rewriting it all out here on screen because you can see it over there on the left but it would all be written here under the positive negative function and okay and have all this associated code that makes that function work but i also might have other functions that I've created too that are useful that in many other programs that I'm potentially going to be creating. So there could be another function for recording people's names when they start one of my programs. And there could be another function about recording their numbers when they enter it into a program or a value and it stores it in some sort of location there too. So basically these are all specific functions that I plan on reusing over and over and over again within different programs. I've stored it all here within a module and which I can reference as a file when I create new programs. So I'm not always rewriting this code out over and over and over again. I've got it stored in this location. I can then access this module when I create a new program. So I have this library available to me when I begin coding my new program. So essentially with both these concepts, it's all about reusing code. I'm not writing it from the ground up every time I start a new program. When I begin a program, yep, I'm creating subroutines. And yes, I am starting off writing it from scratch and creating all the code. But then once that's created, I can then just reference it by name for every specific subroutine within the program. Though, I can also create my own library of modules where I create commonly used lines of codes and all their source code that's associated with it. I write it all out and I create this module. So that way, the next time I start the program, I've got this library available to me of my own specific codes, which then I can all just reference by name. And because it's connected to the module file, it has all the source code there for those functions to work appropriately, saving me time and increasing efficiency in developing a new program. So I hope this video has given you an understanding of the importance importance of using a library of modules when programming many different projects if you are going to be a programmer.